God, I look awful with a hat, but my hair's not done. It's still a little bit damp, and I had the energy to do my makeup, but <laughs> you best believe I didn't have the energy to do my my hair. All right, I thought I would do a what's in my bag. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, this is the same bag <laughs> that I showed in the last, you know, um, what's in my bag tag thing. Uh, it was a couple years ago, but I don't switch my bags out so often. I don't buy bags all that often either. Uh, it's just not my thing and uh, Recently, I just switched over to this one I had a little mini bag from Victoria's Secret that I loved carrying the chain is too heavy for the actual bag But uh, it got so full to the point where I couldn't fit things in there anymore So I just went back to the one that I had Before so this one's from Dooney and Berg and I found out in my last what's in my bag video that this is called the chevron print I didn't know that you know, I don't know the fancy names. All right, so I'm going to get started. I think I'm going to start off with this little bag right here where I keep a bunch of goodies. I'm just going to start pulling things out. I have a Sephora mirror. I have the Palladio rice paper little things to blot and stuff, which I don't normally use all that often. I don't, I don't use it all that often because I forget. I don't, I'm not one that touches up her makeup on a regular basis. It's just, you know, not my thing. This one is uh, a perfume. It's called White, and it's the little mini one that came with the fuller size that I got for Christmas. It smells so nice and clean. Like, I really like the scent of this. I think this is from Bath and Body Works. It was a gift. Uh, maybe? I think it was from Bath and Body Works. I can't remember. My hand sanitizer from The Honest Company. I mentioned it in a favorites video because I love it. An A and D ointment. This is the diaper rash ointment and skin protectant. I bought this on a whim because I didn't have a lotion. I forgot the lotion in my purse. I had gotten a tattoo, and you know you need to keep your tattoo not super moist, but uh, moisturized. It can't get dry. Got this. Kept it in my purse just in case of emergency. Sometimes it's come in handy because I've run out of lotion like hand lotion and this helps me out so much and it smells a little bit minty not my favorite but you know kind of helps me out in an emergency my little Vaseline here I mentioned it in my Manny Essentials that I have a little one this is the one that I keep in my purse I'll use it on my lips and I'll also use it on my cuticles and sometimes I'll just rub it all over my hands if I don't want to reach for my lotion this is the dentine ice um, which I got at a Dollar Tree I had run out of gum and my breath was kicking so <laughs> I needed a little help so I got that it's been in here for a while now some emergency I love these things I have two boxes here at the house and then I try to carry some sometimes I run out which I hate I always like having some of it on hand especially if I'm not feeling very good I love these in boiling water and drinking it as tea it tastes so yummy Lysol because <laughs> Sometimes, you know, public restrooms, I, I want to, I, 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 you know, I find it, um, what am I trying to say? You know, <laughs> I'll use this either whether I'm going into the restroom and somebody just released quite a bit in the restroom or sometimes I need it myself. You know what I mean? Sometimes I got to go. When I got to go, I got to go. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's in a public restroom. And so I bring this to help people out that are coming in after me well that conversation just went south I have some lens wipes here these are from CVS because my my glasses are always dirty and my these are my emergency um, nail clippers these are the ones with the little curve I mentioned in my many essentials that I don't like the ones with the little curve but I keep them in my purse because I keep my strata edged ones uh, here at home so I carry the little curved ones for uh, in, in case of emergency, I cannot speak today. Two little perfumes here. This right here is from Michael Kors. This one's a little bit sweet, but I'm almost done with it. And, you know, they come in handy. And this is a long home one. I want to say this one smells really, really strong, almost to the point where you just need a half a spray, even of this one. It's crazy strong and it's kind of overbearing, overpowering over everything. It's just a little bit much, so. I would never buy the full size, even, I mean, especially because I'm not a perfume person. I always carry some kind of lotion. I usually carry the Eucerin one, but I just ran out and I came across this one at Big Lot. So I got this this one. This is the Gold Bond. I like the Gold Bond ones. I like the ones that have zero fragrance because I have eczema on my hands and I need to find, I need to, that's, which is why I like the one from Eucerin. Um, because it helped me out a lot with my eczema. My eczema this year is not that bad. I do have some spots on my fingers, but not as bad as 
from previous years. This one does have a slight scent, but not a perfume kind of scent. It smells like lotion, but super soft. And it leaves my hands moisturized and soft feeling. I have this Revlon Shape and Buff. This is my emergency one. This one has all of these sides. It has the steps. It has like five steps, I think. Um, which is this right here, two on this side, and then two on this side. This is a little bit too gritty for me, but in case of emergency, it does come in handy. I hate it when my nail has, like, it snags. It bothers me. My wallet, which is also from Dooney & Burke, same wallet I mentioned in that video a couple years ago. I love the little floral print. It looks a little vintage. Two glass cases. This one carries my regular eyeglasses, which are right here. I don't have them in here because I was using them. And then I have this one right here, which carries the sunglasses. I lost my prescri my prescription sunglasses, so I had to pull out one of my old, old sunglasses. This is kind of similar to my prescription ones, but these don't have prescription, unfortunately. So these are my $5 little glasses. I try not to spend a lot of money on sunglasses because I always lose or break them. And go figure, I lost my prescription ones. A little notepad that I put in actually yesterday because um, I needed to, I had school and I did not buy a, an actual school notepad and I wanted to bring one because my teacher has a lot of information. All right, let's see, in this little pocket I have two uh, nail polish things. This is uh, the Revlon Color Stage Gel Envy and then the Color Club. Polish in Halo Graphic, which is beautiful. I posted about it on my Instagram, and then one of my classmates wanted me to bring it in to paint their nails. So I brought it in and painted her nails, and it looked amazing. It looks so pretty on her. And then I have this NARS uh, lip gloss in Chelsea, which I do have on today. Everything that's on my face, by the way, is always, most of the time, project panning stuff. Uh, so my eyes are using my Pan Bat palette, and then my complexion is using my project, uh, my year yearly use up and my seven finish seven by spring a pen uh, another nail clipper because you can never have too many in case I lose one because I lose everything a Laura Mercier lip gloss in brownberry I had this in a project not last year but the year before I lost it and then last like at the end of last year I found it and so I put it in my purse so I could finish it off because I'm almost I'm like down to here an Avon lip gloss this one is in sugared fig and they don't make this one anymore. The Mark line does make a fig one. I love this one. This is the backup, and I'm almost done with it. You can see it's like, it's dying. I have a chapstick. I love chapstick. I never spend a lot of money on chapstick because this right here is inexpensive, and it does the job for me. So does my Vaseline. This is Pink Truffle from Revlon, and I have this in a project. This I had in a project before, which is the Entrepreneur Lipstick from Lorac. I carry it in my purse because I want to finish it. Because I didn't finish it in that project. I was able to work it down, but I didn't finish it. What else do I have in here? My favorite gum, which is the 5. I either get this one or the green one. Always good. And it helps me out when my breath is kicking. I have an eyelash where the other one went. Wow, I just... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I have a really dirty, oh, wow, that's disgusting. Okay, I think that's everything. There's nothing else in here. That's everything, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below, of course, what you guys like to carry in your purse, what your necessities are, because I could do without a lot of this stuff, but like my nail file, I could do without my nail clippers, but not my nail file. I need a nail file to help me out with the little snags. I can't do without my chapstick. I cannot do without my wallet. For the most part, everything else I can probably do without. Um, but I will tag quite a few people down below, so be sure to check the description box, of course. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.